So this took a dump. This looks like crap. And I kind of hate this. All right, what's up guys? So I've been getting a lot of messages on different forms of social media, asking about inventory or status on some of my projects that I've been working on. Obviously, I've kind of abandoned the frontier. I haven't really, but it's kind of been on the back burner for the time being, but I got some updates. All right, so this is the badge insert emblem for the aftermarket grill for the frontier. It's super, super ugly. The S's are weird, the A's weird, everything's got a weird slant. I don't, I don't know what happened there. It's just really ugly. So I came up with this and while it is an improvement, it just didn't look right. I don't know, it didn't fit the bill. So I went back to the drawing board and came up with this. And I have to say, I'm way, way happier with it. It needs to be cleaned up still. It's not perfect. It's really, really rough. I just want to check, see what it'll look like before I spent all the time sanding, finishing, painting, and putting it in place. However, I think the design is perfect. And it's a huge, huge improvement from what it was before. What do you guys think? Way better, right? Man, I'm really happy with it. So I've actually sent the file off. I'm getting trying to get a quote to see if I can get them SLS printed or made in some other way. Just because FDM is not ideal, it takes a lot of work to clean up the, the prints and make them look finished. So hopefully SLS or maybe Fusion Jet will do the trick, but kind of where we're at for the time being until I get some quotes and then see if it's very feasible to produce. If not, I'll just release the file and you guys can have at it yourself, print them yourself. Um, but man, looks way better. So if you go to my Etsy store, you can see some of the parts that I've shown on my videos. I, I don't always sell. Sometimes I end up selling a digital file and not the physical product. Sometimes I'm just flat out sold out. Um, this magnetic phone mount for the Frontier is one of them. There's a bunch of issues with this. I've tried re redesigning a couple times, trying to make it a little bit easier to print. Uh, there's a lot of weird overhangs and it has a fairly high rate of failure. So I've gone back to the drawing board again. I've got them printing right now. Hopefully it does a trick. I get more in inventory, but uh, it's just kind of a difficult part. And a lot of these difficult parts, I end up just selling the file because it's way easier. Uh, I can collect a little bit of income, a little bit of money from those parts without me having the liability of producing and failing in my own hands. So, so if you've seen something I've made and you like the design and you can't find it for sale, chances are I'm probably selling the digital file somewhere. All right, so this is one of the parts I created several months ago. It is definitely something I'm not so sure about. I've gone through like three, four different versions. I have it fitting perfect, but I'm just not sure if it looks good or if it's something I can should continue with at all. Again, if I don't do anything with it, I'll probably end up selling the digital file or at least giving it away. Um, but all it is is this fog light trim and I have a little bit of double side tape on there just to stick it on real light. You get it centered up, stuck down and the truck is super dirty so it doesn't want to stick. There we go, perfect, as good as new. What do you guys think though? It's hard to say, it's hard to say. Like, I kind of like it, it kind of looks cool, it's a little bit more aggressive, has a little accent to the bumper. From this angle with the grill, I think it looks pretty cool, but it might just be a bit too much. So maybe it'll look better on a black truck, it'll be a little bit more blended in. I don't know, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, I'm just not sure about it so far. All right, a few more updates in the garage. I will have a few more CAD style tutorial videos, very similar to the air inlet for the bumper. Um, it'll be very similar to that. So if you like the kind of content, stay tuned. And over here, we have a few things to talk about. Firstly, my Shining Einstar 3D scanner has shit the bed. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. It basically doesn't work at all. I can get it to sync on the computer, register, hook up. Doesn't seem like there's a driver issue. It just will not scan anything no matter what. Uninstalled, reinstalled recalibrated, done all the tricks in the book, and uh, it just doesn't seem to work. So I'm gonna send it back probably and hope to get it repaired or maybe a new one. And then let's talk about 3D printers for a second. Obviously I've had my X1 Carbon for a while. It has been absolutely game changing. The prints are so much faster and they're just honestly way better quality than my Flashforge Guider 2 ever produced. This thing was a $2,000 printer when it was brand new. Uh, looking back now, I mean, it might have been a fair price at one point, but at this point, it's just way overpriced, way too slow, and I'm just not happy with the overall performance. So I'm thinking about selling this, and hopefully I can recoup enough money to buy a second X1 Carbon, maybe a P1S, 
man, this thing just prints so much faster and cleaner that I just, I, there's no need for my Guider 2. I, I print everything on the X1 now. If you've been looking for an update for the roof mounted light pods for the Frontier, I haven't abandoned it, but at the same time, I've kind of walked away from the idea of using the 12 volt removable battery. They're just gonna be hard mounted. They're gonna be the original pods I created in you know several videos ago. I like how they look. I like how they fit, how they function. And it just way easier, you know, the battery just added complexity for no real reason. Uh, you know, it's cool for the quick removability, but you can just use a flashlight, I guess, if you wanted to too. So, so I think that's gonna stay how it is. If you like them, I'll have a link down to those in the description as well. Um, you can download your set. I actually have that file entirely for free. Go print them out, put them up on your Frontier. Anyways, I think that's gonna be a wrap for today. Stay tuned, I should have some more videos out in the near future. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.